Hi everyone, today we're gonna discuss the probability that our entire planet Earth is actually a huge giant query. Let's dig into it. If it looks like a duck, swims like a duck, and quacks like a duck, then it probably is a duck. We all heard of the so-called duck test. It suggests that a person can identify an unknown subject by observing that subject's habitual characteristics. For open-minded people, the below habitual characteristics could become a sanity test as well. If we take this duck test into consideration, then our planet Earth is nothing but one huge giant query. A type of query where coal, copper, uranium, nickel, gold, and other natural resources were mined long, or not so long, time ago. Striking similarities could make an open-minded person to at least look into the issue. Below we can see the pictures of several queries. These are the result of our civilization mining in various parts of the world. The above queries are gigantic in size, and the equipment used to produce such drastic terrestrial changes is impressive indeed. These equipment are presented below, one of it which is the bucket wheel excavators. Their larger models reach boom lengths of 260 feet, weigh 13,000 tons, and move 12,500 meter cubes per hour. The largest BWE ever constructed is TechRaf's Bagger 293, which weighs 14,200 tons and is capable of moving 240,000 cubic meters of overburden every day. Excavations of 497,000 cubic yards per day have been recorded. Coincidentally, there are some artifacts resembling the machines above. These artifacts are located throughout various museums of the world. They primarily represent Mesoamerican culture and are dated around 1000 BC. The above are explained as incenses and pendants. We also might have some depictions of the stone cutters pertaining to the same time frame. It's very easy to dismiss these as pure coincidence, of course, but isn't it exactly the type of explanation we get all the time? Now let's have a look at the some of the prominent natural objects. Supposedly they exist for tens of thousands of years. Some of those you might even be familiar with. Some are protected wonders of tourism. Below we have places like Grand Canyon, Antarctica, Greenland, Asian Mountains, Utah Parks. These are just a few examples. You can easily find more. You might have seen some other ones yourself. Compare these to the queries above and make your own conclusion. Let's see the spoil tips, the artificial ones. Once all the minerals and what not are taken out, we end up with spoil tips. A spoil tip, also called a spoil bang, bunny pile, gob pile, bing, batch, bunny dump, or pit hip, is a pile built of accumulated spoil, the overburdened or other waste rock removed during coal and ore mining. And here is what they look like. Once again, these are not natural formations. This waste is byproduct of mining. Some are known to burn on the inside. Please Google help yourself. Now let's see the so-called natural formations. And below you can find various natural formations if you want to see. In other words, they were created by Mother Nature. The below places are all over the world. China, Russia, Argentina, Japan. We have Mount Fuji, Vesuvius, Edna, Salinas Lake, Santa Ana, and a whole lot of other here. Additionally, you can Google Shikan Mountains in Russia. Of course, we need to come to the Grand Canyon. It might be a long shot, but judging by where our uranium is, Maybe there is a reason the Grand Canyon looks the way it does, and maybe the United States are not the first ones to mine it. To summarize a little, I'll say that this is too much to be just a coincidence. Looks to me like somebody might have done some major mining on our planet and forgot to tell us about it. Then again, maybe they did, but it got lost in translation through all those burned books and libraries. 
And maybe that mountain next to you is just a gigantic spoil tip. Go figure now.